Spike Mendelson may have grown up in Montreal, but he is an all-American success story. He has worked in some of the world's top restaurants, but we got to know him best as a fan favorite on hit cooking competitions such as Top Chef and Top Chef All-Stars. He also runs a number of popular restaurants with his family. They include Good Stuff Eatery, We the Pizza, Bernays, and if his plate isn't full enough, he just opened a speakeasy, The Shepherd. Chef Spike, welcome to The Dish. Thank you. You are the first, the first chef who's come and brought us a straw with our meal. Okay. Which goes to? This goes in the cocktail right over here. It's, oh. It's, uh, oh, you guys are putting in the milkshake. Oh, my bad, yes. Yours it, it's, is a better plan. <laughs> yeah, actually, you That's don't the, like uh, that plan. The, the toasted marshmallow milkshake. It's, uh, it's one of our, uh, our favorite milkshakes at the restaurant. Literally, it tastes like a campfire in your mouth, uh, mm. and people just keep coming for it. So, uh, yeah. You, Anthony mentioned first. You're also our first hamburger. You're our first Greek salad. Walk us through what we Lots have. Lots of first today. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, we've got the Greek kefteris, uh, inspired by my grandmother. Uh, with those is one of my favorite sauces. Is tzatziki. It's a yep. cucumber yogurt sauce that has dill, uh, lots of cucumber, uh, and a little bit of lemon in it. We have a Greek potatoes with lots of lemon, salt, fresh cracked uh, pepper. And domadas. Have you guys had domadas before? Yes. Grape leaves oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. wrapped with the. the you, you could decide to do vegetarian if you want, or a little bit of meat. Quickly, can I ask you, what do you dress your Greek salad with? It's one of my favorite things to eat. Oh, you dress it only with olive oil and uh, just a little bit of vinegar. Mm -hmm. And you don't even mix them. You actually, you know, the, what, what we do in Greece is we compose a salad like this. It has no dressing, and then you just you just pour olive oil all over and a little bit of red wine vinegar and just toss it. Mm. So you don't really like. There's no like no three to one ratio. You know, a little mm -hmm. olive oil, a little red wine <laughs> vinegar, a little bit more. Uh, uh, and then we have a burger, which is inspired my grandfather. Uh, you know, we're in the burger business, uh, and he used to cook burgers for me on, on his porch. And, you know, it's kind of the story behind Good Stuff and the name uh, Good Stuff is it was one of his slogans. Every time he tasted something and he really enjoyed it, mm -hmm. he'd be like, that's good stuff. <laughs> so we named the restaurant after him. Uh, and then we have a little bit of, uh, for sweets, we have a little bit of uh, baklava and uh, toasted marshmallow milkshake. Terrific. Uh, you mentioned uh, your grandfather. I know your parents. Uh, the, you, we basically grew up in the restaurant business, right? I mean, your parents owned something like 32 restaurants in he, Canada? He, and, yeah, in Canada, and, and uh, especially in Montreal. And then we did the World's Fair uh, in, in Spain in 1992 with my family. So, uh, I, you know, I, I use the term often that I was born on a prep table. Yeah. And I was like stirring tomato sauce, <laughs> literally, you know. So yeah. I, I grew up in the kitchen. I, I, I did every uh, part of the business you could think of, uh, you know, washing dishes or, or bar backing or cooking, fry yeah. section. Uh, but it was a family affair, so I, I kind of, you know, I actually grew up not wanting to be in the business. Really? You know, I, didn't want, I didn't want to become a chef. Uh, I was interested in the, uh, uh, marine biology, mm -hmm. the ocean. Uh, I tried really everything to get away. Away. But you got I, sucked back in. I got <laughs> sucked back in. You know, you're, uh, you know, you grow up in the business and you work, uh, you work holidays. Uh, I know about that. Long hours. Yeah. Right. You know, when everyone's like off having fun, you're you're in the kitchen. So, um, you know, it was a difficult. You just watching my parents, grow, you know, and growing up in that life, it just seemed kind of daunting, yeah. Uh, yeah. somewhat. Uh, but we did it together. That was that was the best part. So. I want to ask you about Top Chef though, because so many people know you from Top Chef. But you had, I mean, you had already done a lot of work before yeah. that show. How did things change after that though for you? Top Chef was just like a, a, a freak. Incident for me. I was in New York. Uh, I, I was cooking at this Vietnamese uh, French restaurant that I had opened called My House in Tribeca. And uh, my sister was a huge fan of the show, she, you know, since season one. And she kept on calling me. She's like, oh my God, you have to be on this show. I'm mm -hmm. like, Mish. I was like, I traveled through France. I trained with the best chefs. I'm not going on reality TV. And then the <laughs> second season came across and she'd have viewing parties. And she's like, you're totally missing out. You have to come. So I started getting a little interested. I started seeing the clout of the show growing a little bit more. And then I saw one of my buddies, Marcel Vigneron, right. on season two, which led me you know, uh, to believe, like, well, he's a serious chef, and he's a good friend of mine. Why, why can't I do it? So I eventually applied to be on the show. To this point, I mean, as you say, you travel through France. You train with the best chefs. You're, but your first restaurant is, is a burger joint. What, what made you want to go that way? You know, I, I think it comes from a, a lot of experience at a young age in the business, mm -hmm. uh, um, you know, over uh, 40 years and you know how my family would love to say you know their 30 years and my 10 years right. uh, combined uh, where you know we've done everything from fine di dining to fast casual to ice cream shops bars and, and what have you when we wanted to do something in DC together we wanted to do something simple and that we could have fun fun in, uh, fun with and uh, you know in 2008 it was tough times you know what I mean yeah. no yeah. one was gonna go out and spend big bucks on a fine dining establishment so we figured if we can give a nice menu with fresh ingredients and tasty food at a great value, 
uh, you, we'd make it in D.C. So that's kind of end up what, what happened. Mm -hmm. Great burger. Hard to eat it with a fork, but delicious, nonetheless. <laughs> Harlan took a bite. I know. I mean, no, no, trust no, me, no, as soon as we go to no, break. No, no, no. <laughs> I want to get your signature on this dish. And as we hand it over to you, we want to ask you if you could have this meal with any person, past or present, who would that be? I'd have to say with my grandfather, probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We all loved him and miss him. So I'm signing this? like. Yeah. Your real signature. There you go. Oh, my God. Chef Spike Mendelson, thank you so much.